Hello and welcome for the Gemini Full Moon Community Ceremony. I love this picture for Gemini, so uh, fun and airy. Uh, thank you, Alex Alvarez from Unsplash. Whoops. My name is Judy Keating, and I'm the co-creative managing partner of Wise Transformation. And I, my business partner, Bonnie Salomon, and I uh, started Wise Transformation about four years ago. And we decided that our mission is two women intent on bringing elemental wisdom and feminine magic back into everyday life. So that's us at uh, an emergence event for one of our circles. So today, I'm going to talk to you about some upcoming events. We're going to set sacred space, and we're going to talk about the timing. And we're going to be we're going to be using the elemental forces of creation oracle to get some ceremonial guidance. And it may not be uh, quite 60 minutes today. So the first thing I want to tell you about is that we have a couple of New Year's events coming up. Uh, you can go to wisetransformation.com for, for the event details, but it's going to be December 28th from 12 noon to 145, and then again on the 29th of December from 12 noon to 145 in the afternoon, that's Eastern Standard Time. And these events are going to be little mini sessions on clearing out anything in the way of creating a loving foundation for your life in 2021. I think we all need to have a reset and to clear out uh, a lot. So we're going to work on that on December 28th and 29th so that on January 9th, we're going to have a play day. Uh, we're going to be using tools from Create a Dynamic Year, which is a natural rhythms tool that we both know. And we're going to be adding in some fun uh, interactive things for you to be doing to set a plan in motion for a clean, clear, and current 2021. So you can come to one event, you can come to both events. And if you do choose to come to both events and sign up for both, um, I'm offering a special coaching bonus. I use something called Crystalline Consciousness Technique. And you can use those tools for many, many things. And I do charts. And there's this beautiful fruit of life soul chart, which we can uh, put together a plan for you uh, using this chart to clear out any blocks for 2021. Throughout every um, cycle of the, of the astrological wheel. And we do it all at once. And it's set in place to sort of activate as each month comes along. And uh, it's my pleasure to offer it as a gift to our community for anyone who signs up for both events. So you'll get details on that when you sign up. So we want to open to the living field of creation. And this is just such a sacred time. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in North America. And there's there's been a... a a time of really uh, energy of gratitude and slowing down and feasting on the last harvest. And so we just want to pull all that energy together. And if you're watching on a recording for out of the US, we're grateful for you too. Our Thanksgiving is shared with you, whether you live in the US or not. So when we open to the living field of creation, we connect to each one of the elemental forces. So we always start with earth because earth gives us grounded energy. And when we do any kind of uh, work together, we want to have a container that is um, grounded and supportive. So we're going to ask for that today. And we want it to be infused with a connection that is filled with love that is uh, we're able to be playful and have fun, especially in this Gemini full moon time. So we're going to ask for that love and connection and play. And we're going to ask in the air realm for assistance with vibrational attunement modalities, whether they be our voices, singing, toning, 
If you do Reiki, that's a vibrational attunement modality. Certainly the crystalline consciousness technique work that I do is a vibrational attunement modality. So as you're getting ready for the Gemini full moon tomorrow, if there's any music that you want to listen to as you make your plan, or if you want to um, have uh, anything else, toning, crystal bowls or another thing that you can use. Um, I'm letting people in on the waiting room, so let me uh, admit everyone. Okay, great. So ladies, if you're joining, we are just uh, setting sacred space and we're glad that you have come. Um, and we're working with fire now. So I'm just gonna ask for fire and its warmth. Warmth that warms our food, warmth that warms our bodies, warmth that warms our hearths that make our homes feel welcome. In spirit, the connection of all that is, the as above, so below, as within, so without, that element that is the glue that holds everything together. So we've just set sacred space and we're going to move forward and talk about the timing. So tomorrow is the full moon in Gemini. And usually full moons are a good time to release anything that might be in your way. If you've been working for some, with something since the new moon, this is a time to review that plan, to tweak it and strip away anything that is no longer needed. So when, when we have a full moon, it means that the sun and the moon are in opposite archetypes. And we're in, this, in the um, sun of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is all about, it's a fire sign and it teaches us all about expansion. It's a dynamic, outgoing, truth-seeking explorer. It constantly quests for expansion by physically and energetically seeking out new ideas and territories. It brings its expanded awareness and discoveries back to share with others as a teacher of philosophy and of evolving states of consciousness. It passionately searches for the meaning of life through freedom, growth, and development, and it uses a lot of fuel. If you have Sagittarius in your chart, you know what I'm talking about. You expend a lot of energy seeking truth and meaning. That is, that is the fire that keeps you lit up and sometimes pushing your edges if you have Sagittarius. And you can tap into that seeker, that quester. You can do a reflection on truth and meaning at this time as Sagittarius sun is matching up with the Gemini full moon, which is the opposite archetype and Gemini is an air sign. So it teaches the importance of the mind and ideas. It craves fresh experiences, change, fun, games, and imagination. It's versatile and curious and often plays the comedian and perpetual youth. Peter Pan, think of that. It's self-expressive through writing, speaking, or connecting to the divine muse through its many creative pursuits. It likes to communicate, network, and bring news and information. It's the playful sign. It's the one that can, um, they say, it's the one that can tell the king the truth without getting their head chopped off. You know, that jester personality that can deliver sometimes the hard news in a way that it can be received. That's one of the benefits of Gemini. And so we have these two archetypes that we're working with, the quester and the comedian, the quester and the playful one, the seeker of truth and meaning, sometimes a little overly serious, which is why it is paired so beautifully with Gemini, who keeps things light and upbeat and fun and enjoys play. So if you have an Elemental Forces of Creation Oracle, you want to go ahead and pull it out. And we're going to pull a card for each of the elements. Um, the first one is going to be an earth card. And I pulled a card for the collective. And I pulled structure and form. 
So that may apply for you, it may not, but it is the card I pulled for the collective structure and form. And the question that we're gonna, we're gonna ask is what container in your life needs to be created or cleared for expansive growth and play? This is a time to make your container bigger. You might need to have more elbow room in your life energetically around a project. You might want to uh, look at the inner and decide that you want to build a container for something sacred that you're creating. But what container in your life needs to be created or cleared for expansive growth and play? I'm going to put on some music and you can just journal that.
So if you can let me know when you're done, that would be helpful. And if there's anything that you want to share, it's always very helpful when people share on these calls. So you can just put done in the chat or you can type something in there. Okay. Thanks, Laura. You're doing okay, Tina. You can type in the chat. Or you can unmute if you want. Okay. We're going to move on from what from earth to water. Ah, okay. Thanks for letting me know, Tina. You can unmute if you want, if that's easier, but thank you for that. So I pulled a card for water for the collective and it was holding space. And, um, since we're in this Gemini full moon and Gemini is about fun and play and being joyful and happy uh, in the, the water question for today is what are you seeking that brings joy into your life? And I pulled a card for the collective holding space in the water realm. What are you seeking that brings joy into your life? And if you don't have an answer for that, you might want to just allow that to drop in. Ask for help from water if you don't have an answer right away. What are you seeking that brings joy into your life? Thanks, Laura. I'm going to give us another minute on this.
So Laura shares seeking some energy protection and new skills at maintaining that. Beautiful. What a great thing. Thank you, Laura. Okay. So we're going to move to the air realm, but I'm going to take our time. We've got plenty of time today. So the air realm is or the air realm is the mental realm. And when I pulled the card for air, it said perspective. So if you if you have an oracle of your own, you might want to pull your own cards. But for the collective, I pulled perspective. And Gemini is always the one with new ideas. And um, Sagittarius helps with that as well, because Sagittarius is the great researcher. It's the one that can seek out information and find all sorts of new ideas. So what new ideas are percolating inside you? What are things that are bubbling up that you want to know more about or that you want to to learn in in the next month or so? What are what are things what things have you sort of jazz that you're looking into? What's percolating on the inner? So the new ideas, you, you want to keep track of them. They may just be beginning. You may just have an inkling of an idea, but you want to put it out in the universe as, a, as something that could potentially grow. It may be the start of a new phase for you. Um, in this time of Gemini Sagittarius, there, you may be getting some information about 
where you're headed, where you want to go, maybe a new direction or refining something. So you want to jot these ideas down. And even if they're not in full form, you want to kind of watch them on the inner, like keep, keep track of, hmm, does anything else come in for that idea? Ah, Laura looked up the card description. You can see the larger perspective of your life by simply soaring above it and looking down, much like a hawk. Looking at some, fam looking at some family of origin issues after the holiday interactions. Yeah, that's really understandable, Laura. Thanks for sharing. That's a benefit for the collective. Yes, perspective is so important. Thank you very much. So as we move on to fire, the card I pulled for the collective is life force. This, the particular uh, graphic I had said life forces, but it might say life force in your deck if you have one. And you know that's the fire inside of us that we need to tend to, to make sure that we um, keep it thriving and life force can ebb and flow can be low burning sometimes just at embers and it can be a raging fire other times. Um, and we need to watch our life force and use it as a guide in terms of what we commit to. And especially in this Sagittarius sun time as we're in the holiday season, we might overcommit. But that's, I think, a blessing of COVID is that we can't uh, be together as much in that way. So you may not be over committing uh, as, as much as you would say last year. So uh, I pulled life force for the community. And uh, because it's a full moon, I wanted to add uh, a completion question. So what do you need to complete to free up energy for more fun, play and meaning in your life? What are those niggling things that you, if you completed, you, you wouldn't feel your energy would be better? There's things that you know um, you've been meaning to complete and they're sort of dragging on you a little bit because they haven't gotten done. What do you need to complete to free up energy for more fun, play, and meaning in your life? Thank you, Deborah. I just want you to know I saw your message and we're going to hold the intent. Ooh, she may have be gone. So if she gets back on, uh, we had somebody that had internet issues and that's the benefit of the recording on our YouTube channel. So I'm just going to put on a little more music because I think we need a little more fun, play and meaning in our life. So I'm going to give us a little more time.
Laura shared, shared a great tweak. She said, this one is hard because I'm not aware of any one thing that needs completing as much as removing barriers to fun play and unmuting the life force energy. I love that reframe, Laura. That's you're teaching me today. So it feels like a lot of heavy stuff needs moving out of the way. So because we're in the Gemini full moon, I would just say, what can you do to play with that rather than have it be heavy? Um, like if you were to label the boxes in of what the stuff is on the inner, put funny labels on them that make you want to move them. You know, imagine that you have inner stickies. That's a that's a Gemini kind of idea. Um, just something to make it a little bit lighter. So what, how can, oh, <laughs> that's great. She says, sticky notes are my favorite. Yeah. So, cause we want, we want this to be fun and easy. That's the benefit of the Gemini full moon. We can make light of it and make it not so serious. I'm, you know, I have my PhD in serious, so I know about this. Great work, everybody. Okay, we're going to move on to spirit. And I pulled active and receptive. Active and receptive as the card for the collective today. And where are you bring, being called to bring more truth, meaning, and direct communication with the divine? Is there anywhere where you're being called to do more direct communicating with the divine specifically about what's meaningful for you or what truths you need to hear? Spirit is so good at, at bringing that mail to us. So where are you being called to be more truthful and to have more time with the divine and direct communication? This is a perfect time for that. So we want to bring our awareness to that question.
How's everybody doing? Hope you got some kind of an answer with spirit and active and receptive or whatever card that you pulled. And so now we're just gonna look back over the questions not, since we um, have and see if we can pull it all together in a unified field way. Ah, Laura says the feminine receptivity energy is where I'm placing more attention. Yes, really important, really important. So as you look at the answers that you got to these, we sort of took a little tour of the kind of energy that Gemini and Sagittarius have, you know, play, fun, new ideas, seeking, um, understanding what matters to us, what gives our life meaning and truth. And when we put the answers that we got together in terms of the Gemini full moon, what when you put it all together, what message or messages do you get so that you know what to focus on in this full moon energy? And in the full moon, you can release what no longer serves you. You can clear things out. You can also just see what needs tweaking and what's already started. That's full moons are really great for those kinds of activities. But this is a really beautiful energy of joy and fun and play and deep truths all at the same time. It's a both and energy that's very, very powerful. So uh, see what you get when you reflect on what you've journaled so far about the message that you want to take into the new moon tomorrow, sorry, full moon tomorrow, so that you can uh, utilize the energy for your own benefit. That's what this is for.
Laura shares, I think if I can stay at a 50,000 feet overview and stay curious rather than getting stuck in the heavy details, my energy force will remain more stable and perhaps a little less fragile. Thanks for sharing, Laura. That's a, that's a good assignment for the next few days. Way to do the work. Beautiful. Just going to put on a music for another minute or so in case anybody else needs just a tiny bit more time. Okay, so you still have a little more time. I'm just going to go over some future events so you can put them on your calendar if you want to come back. Um, we're going to do the new moon in Sagittarius call two weeks from today on December 13th. I'm going to do it a little bit earlier at two o'clock Eastern time. So uh, and you can get the link in our e-zine if you signed up. And also, we put the link on our Facebook page if, um, if that helps as well. So uh, next, two weeks from today, December 13th at 2 o'clock Eastern, we'll meet for the Sagittarius new moon. And I wanted to give you, to make sure you put on your uh, calendar, our winter solstice community ceremony will be on the solstice December 21st at 12 noon. And Bonnie Salomon is going to be leading that. So that's a very auspicious day in the year, and uh, it's, a, it's always a very informative ceremony. So I wanted to make sure that you knew we're doing something 12 noon on the 21st of 2020 of December, and we'd love to have you with us. So I hope today's call has been helpful, and if you're listening on the recording Thank you for um, subscribing or listening on the YouTube channel. And for those that were here today, thank you. Thank you very much. So appreciate you. And try to have some fun in this Gemini full moon. And rest as well. Bye for now. Aw, you're welcome, Laura. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it.